Hey everyone, today we have an unboxing of the WinBook TW700 tablet. This is pretty remarkable because this is a 7 inch tablet that's running the full Windows 8.1 at a price point of just $59 um, from Micro Center. Now, WinBook is Micro Center's in house brand, and this is sold only currently at retail at Micro Center stores in the United States. Now, uh, to give some context, WinBook has released um, a 7 inch tablet. Uh, an 8 inch tablet which we actually have right here that's the TW800 and 801 um, as well as a 10 inch tablet they all share the basic specs um, an Intel Bay Trail uh, quad core processor either 16 or 32 gigabytes of flash in the 7 and 8 inch models um, and front and rear cameras and such $59 is, is quite remarkable um, again <clears throat> let's go through the specs this is a 7 inch tablet um, as mentioned, running uh, an Intel Bay Trail processor, quad core 1.3 gigahertz with a gig of RAM, um, 16 gigs of flash, but there's a micro SD slot for up to 128 gigabytes of add-on RAM uh, flash. That is, um, there's a uh, touch screen, of course, that's a five-point multi-touch, um, which is less than the ten points multi-touch you might find on higher-end tablets uh, like the Microsoft Surface line. Um, but at seven inches, you're probably not going to get more than five fingers on the screen at any given time. In any case, um, we have Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, a uh, light sensor, ambient light sensor, um, orientation sensor for portrait to landscape shifts, two megapixel cameras on the front and back, uh, and a three amp hour lithium polymer battery. Um, so all in all, pretty decent specs. Um, the resolution of the screen is 1280 by 800 so we'll get started we're going to pull out our specialized tool known as a scissor and at the bottom here we have a piece of tape so let's cut that okay and here we have the tablet now let's move this aside for the moment. What else do we have in here? We have a charger. This is a um, this is a two amp USB charger. Not bad. And we have here the USB cable with that. There's the Office 365 license key card, and then we have a quick start guide, and a warranty card, so not much in the box. Now let's take a look at the tablet itself. So here we are. Okay, so the back has a kind of rubbery feel to it. It's actually not bad. And on the front, we have there's a little bit of a temporary screen protector that Windbook has on here. Um, pretty much just the screen. There's a front-facing camera you can see here. On the sides, we have on the right side we have the power button, the volume rocker button, and then the uh, the Windows key actually um, on the back. Just the WinBook logo, camera, or various uh, various Intel logo and FCC stuff at the bottom. Um, nothing, and at the top is where uh, all the ports are at. So this is where it gets interesting. It's maybe a little difficult to see even the light, but we have here a micro HDMI port for video output. We have micro SD for up to 128 gigabytes of add-on storage, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, a full-size USB 2.0 port, which is pretty cool, and then the micro USB port for charging. If we turn it on, here we go. And uh, as you can see, we have here Windows 8.1. Um, performance is actually surprisingly pretty good. Um, obviously, this is not going to match a Core i5 or i7 processor. Um, 
but it, it really gets the job done for, you know, office work, browsing in the Metro, i.e. browser, is, is really not bad. Um, you'll notice some hiccups here and there, but, um, but for the most part, everything's pretty smooth. The desktop, of course, is um, really, really small right now. And if you open something like the desktop Internet Explorer browser, you'll notice my finger here is larger than just about any UI element. So if you do want to use the desktop environment here for, you know, file browsing or something, um, what you can do is increase the size of everything by going to screen resolution here and there's an option that says make text and other items larger or smaller so you tap on that and say let me choose one uh, scaling level for all my displays and then you set this from 100 percent which is the default up to something like 150 percent which will basically then um, increase the size of everything so you can use things more easily on the desktop Still a bit challenging, but it, it'll be good enough that you can, you know, do basic file uh, file explorer stuff and, and whatnot. Um, Microsoft Office works pretty decently. Um, the Metro Office apps are, of course, not out yet, but the desktop ones have a touch mode that works pretty well. What's really remarkable here is that WinBook has created a $60 tablet. Um, that's not terrible. It's it's that's that's really novel by itself to create a sixty dollar full computer, Windows eight point one computer that you can do anything with. You know, there's a USB port. You can you can literally plug whatever you'd want in here, run your you know <clears throat> twenty five year old x eighty six software, and it'll all work. And that's that's really incredible. Um, you know, it's it's really hard to complain about something at this price point. You're getting a twelve eighty by eight hundred. Uh, resolution IPS screen, which is much better than some of the entry-level machines you get from big brands like Toshiba, whose entry-level tablet has a 1024 by 600 TN panel. So, you know, this has much better color reproduction. It's just in, in every way a much better panel. Um, the <clears throat> the screen is not optically bonded, so it's, it's you know, there's a bit of a bit of perceived distance there. Um, so it's not going to match your, you know, high-end surfaces or, or iPads of the world. Um, but for sixty dollars, this is this is far better better than any of the of uh, the Chinese branded uh, Androids um, you can get, uh, you know, in in this area of the market. So, so that's really cool. Um, and uh, you know, there's a question about whether a seven inch tablet is is really for you. And of course, if you have if you have a you know a six inch phablet, then of course it may not be. But for most people, you know, there's there's really a lot you could do with this. You could use it as a reading platform. You could really do whatever you want on here. Um, so again, for sixty dollars, this is kind of incredible. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to let us know below in the comments.